Let us explore what has changed in the material ledger application, material price analysis, also known as CKM3, in S4HANA. Here is an example for the material 71 racing bike for the period of April 2020 after material ledger closing. The default view is the price determination structure which splits the values by categories in beginning inventory, receipts, consumption and ending inventory just as it was before. A new addition to s hana is the splitting of costs by cost components. In the view drill down list you will not find a separate cost component view as it has been integrated into the price determination structure. The view price history is still available. Let us compare the new to the old material price analysis layout. The old material price analysis layout can be found under the transaction CKM3 old. Note that this transaction does not display any values for the periods after the migration to S4HANA and only offers a view of the historical values before the migration. Therefore values for the current period in CKM3 and CKM3 old will not match. The price determination structure does not contain any cost components and in order to see them the view needs to be changed to cost components. The view plan actual comparison you see in the CKM3 old has been removed in the new material price analysis. Back to the new CKM3. The cost component split you see when you enter the app does only contain cost components marked as relevant for inventory variation. By selecting display all cost components, also non-inventory relevant cost components will be displayed. In our case, these are admin overhead and sales overhead costs. As they have been included in the material cost estimate just for controlling and forecasting purposes, we do not expect any actual value appear in these columns. So it is perfectly fine that they are not shown by default. An important change has been made in determining price and exchange rate differences. In the new material price analysis, there is no breakdown into single level and multi-level differences. Both categories were merged into one. However, it is still possible to filter differences by level and lower level as before. Again, a comparison to the old version of material price analysis. In the price determination structure view, you could not only see the total price differences, but also they split into single level and multi-level differences as separate columns. This was quite useful for the analysis of the source of the differences and the value flow along material components. The default layout can be further extended by adding, for example, intercompany profits, relevant if you use cross company costing and stock transfers, or the alternative inventory values if you use an alternative material valuation functionality. If you expand the price determination structure, you will see more details compared to the old report. After the material ledger closing, the differences rolled up from lower level materials, are differentiated by material number and activity type, so you can easier identify the source of the biggest differences straight in this report.
Also, the closing documents show now more transparency. For each material, you can clearly see where the differences have been distributed to. In our example, the differences of material 31 of 534 euro go to its ending inventory and 133 euro to the next level material 71. In the accounting document you can see that both single level and multi-level differences are posted with the same transaction key, PRY. In the old material ledger application two keys have been used. PRY for single level differences and PRV for multi level differences. These were some highlights of the new material price analysis. Subscribe to our channel to learn more.